Welcome to No Man's Sky Survival Mode now. We're currently down on this planet. This is going to be a very, very short update because over the weekend my recording schedule for all my series has been completely wrecked courtesy of Hello Games and No Man's Sky because what actually has happened is that on Friday there was a... well, it started with an innocent comment of somebody in... Reddit asked, they said they found a strange message and they didn't understand it and could anyone explain it to them. And that opened up a lot of guys chasing around the Galactic Hub looking for messages and there were eight of them which formed a sequence which then unlocked and pointed at a live stream that was starting at a certain time. And people got very very excited and I must admit when it first started I thought uh, I don't really want to watch a live stream and I got on but one of the consequences of me trying to get to the Galactic Hub was the fact that I did a lot of jumps in very very quick succession and I exhausted all my resources especially plutonium and I literally had to spend the time game time going around a planet like this trying to recharge my resources because well I I couldn't go anywhere I couldn't do anything I mean literally I had to put down like and I arrived on a planet not this planetary system and I sat there and I spent a couple of hours recharging all my resources back up again then I had a, a, at the same time things were moving forward and the the Twitch stream had started, so I kind of quite mistakenly I started watching that. I thought I'd just drop in and have a quick look. Gotta watch the creatures on this planet as well, they're all a bit, a bit bullshit. Uh, I think this is a transmission tower. Well, I think I've already got a crash ship, I don't need another one. Yeah, and uh, of all innocence, I've got to kill the creature here, guys, because. And these, the creatures on here are pretty aggressive and they're a bit of a pain in the neck. I think this is Callium, yeah. And I was kind of thinking about it while I was watching the Titan uh, live stream and it got very, very interesting and it was about Mr. Noodles. If you, any of you watch Orbit TV, in fact, probably the best way to keep track, a better track of what was going on. I think Orbit TV and Cobra TV have made a succession of videos on what is going on and they can probably explain it better than I can because there were so many different bits and pieces going on. I'm not even any sure anymore what the chronological order was actually. So this is going to be more of a just an overview. But anyway the long and the short of it guys is that it's very clear and this is purely my my definition of clarity in the sense that there's going to be something to do with portals so I thought I'd better start making an effort to find a portal and hence we are on this planet so I've literally been well I started off by jumping from system to system uh, uh, predators until I found this system and based on the information related to the oops, this, if I can get out of here of the positions of ruins I'm going on very very old material now on finding a portal because I must admit in the past the only time I've found a portal is when I found one by accident and that was pre-foundation and got here four minutes to a ruin I think we'll go for that ruin just to show you guys and wow I've been on this planet for a couple of hours what I effectively ended up doing and it, it did cost me a little bit with the live stream is I was searching for a portal and watching the live stream because there was quite a lot of periods during the live stream 
when nothing seemed to be happening and then something would flash up and I missed it and I was playing catch up and it was a little bit annoying at the same time very very addictive and you know so yeah um, it was confusing is probably the polite way of saying and and we went through this phase of where we had to uh, there was a series of kind of images and you had to command remember and it was a remember and a code word that you typed uh, typed in and then that gave you something to twitch in um, type in in the twitch stream it all got very frantic some guys were incredibly quick I must admit a lot of the time I was lagging behind and then there was a break and uh, well occasionally there was this guy who would turn up and feed Mr Noodles so any of you guys wondering what the heck Mr Noodles is it seems it was a hamster I've got no idea why that ha why and how that fits into the update and then I'd given up by then guys I was absolutely shot and as it was getting very very late here and what actually happened was there was a session where guys went through a maze and to feed Mr. Noodles I think oh, we've got a storm here, I better charge this up I was in trouble see where I'm going through lots and lots of resources here Let's see. there's a ruin find the ruin guys 30 seconds away you can see all the markers I've dropped as part of my quest for finding the portal and I just want to check this ruin out yeah so a lot of guys went through the maze and I said I went went to went to bed I gave up in the end I was my eyes were literally hanging out on my cheeks from watching the stream oh I've already been here I was taking me back to another one and just to show you guys what I've been following is I these seem to are uh, they seem to be the indicators of the presence of a uh, portal and some people say you should walk go in the direction of the flag other people say you go that way what I've been doing is going in that direction and I have that over there two hours And I mean, if you guys got any suggestions on finding portals, I'll be very appreciate appreciate it very very much. As I say, I've got dropped all sorts of markers and things down here in an attempt. So we've got that one that way, going that way. I suppose it all depends which direction you want to go. I mean, you could fly. I could fly that way. That's that way. Ah, interesting, interesting. I mean, the other option is that I would fly this by brute force. So, I jump in here, and of course, we're going to have to take no, no launch fuel in launch thrusters. This is what makes it so expensive when you actually take off and I think what is I think I've lost the direction okay I hate it with these ones where they stand in a hole can't see it now It's basically saying that direction. So if I turn right here, well, it's like literally we're flying that direction. Okay, guys. And well, I've just finished this off flying across the surface and try and keep an eye on the, the ground. This is what I've been doing for hours, trying to find a portal. I'm absolutely convinced there is one on this planet somewhere, if I can find it. And it seems to be there. There's a base there. And I was saying, well, what we're going to do is fly towards it. This, the marker on the top there, guys, is actually a trading station which I've been using to 
trade away surplus stuff that I've found as I've been going along. Anyway, back to what was going on. After the maze was complete, there was something come up about people were asked to design a Turing test. And any of you guys not familiar with a Turing test, a Turing test is actually a series of questions that a, an adjudicator can ask a human being which they cannot see and a computer which they do not know is a computer to, to establish artificial intelligence. And that was very much part of the process and then the stream went to sleep while people think they had f four hours to complete that. And at the end of that process, there was various teams submitted because obviously people broke into teams. I didn't join a team because I was in bed. And people eventually, I can't remember there was, I think it was Team D1. I think uh, Orbit TV was in Team A. I, I don't know what those questions were because uh, obviously I wasn't around to see it. And that made things very, very interesting. And then I think not long after, it gets a bit hazy there. The next glyph opened on the Waking Titan website. But as far as I know, there, it, we don't know what the password is to actually unlock it. Because if you click on the glyph at the moment, it just comes up and says password. Well, I'm not aware of any password. If any of you guys know what the password is, feel free to leave a comment. And then there was a video again if you go to orbit tv he's put links to the video saying that wake waking titan phase two has completed and now everyone's getting the chance to have a rest and that kind of brings you up to date and that explains why there's been such a disruption to my schedule and to be honest i think as i say this is sunday something of august i think it's the 6th of august and I'm going to take a day off to be honest I've, I've got to catch up on a little bit of my actual work real work uh, I've got some work to do on that so um, this is only going to be the only video that I'm going to upload here today and that's an explanation I think this is where I'm going to leave it guys I think I've rambled on long enough I hope you guys are following the waiting, Waking Titan stream and getting involved it's it's very very addictive and i will give you a health warning guys that when you get into one of these sequences there you get drawn in i think even people who are don't play no man's sky or, or, or are kind of not that convinced of getting drawn into it because it's, it's almost like it can become a bit like a participation sport you know just being involved in something and the quizzes and all that questions i'm sure some guys are Things. Oh yeah, and um, one other thing is that there is a list, and I can't remember again. Orbit TV explains how how to find it, and people have been asked to take pictures of the Titan symbol in front of certain observatories around the world. Now, the nearest one to me is Dublin, and to be honest, I've got neither the time nor the resources to fly off to Dublin uh, because I live in the United Kingdom so uh, I won't be flying off to Dublin to, to take a picture so I think that's about it guys as I say I'm, I, I might spend a little bit of time today still searching for this portal again I'll, I'll reiterate guys if you guys have any tips about finding portals because I am absolutely convinced I don't know I've lost the lost my what we call it oh there it is I've deviated too far yeah so if you guys got any tips on finding portals feel free to leave a comment because as I say I've been at this now searching this planet for about a, a day off and on not a day game time just a day hours during the the twitch and you can see here I've put markers down I've got I've had to put a roamer out because again I keep running out of resources so every so often I've got to stop and top up with plutonium because landing at all the different various uh, um, ruins and that to check direction and things just takes so much time 
and I think probably what this is going to be a feature for the No Man's Sky videos for a, a little while because I think we're getting very very close to the reveal is probably the polite way of saying it that seems to keep turning that way I think we're going this way I think I'm drifting a bit yeah and I think we are getting a little bit close to the reveal so my videos for No Man's Sky might get a bit erratic in the next week but of course if and when something new drops I will be there and we'll be start recording and starting a new series and I'm rambling now guys and I really really need to kind of wake up have some breakfast I haven't even had breakfast yet I've quite literally got out of bed and things and this is where I dropped my marker so I think I'm just going to land here so that I can go and have breakfast and I probably need to collect some more resources so this is where I'm going to leave it guys hope you enjoyed the video sorry it's just an update but I think that's the nature of what we are doing at the moment and hope you're getting involved in Titan if you do like No Man's Sky and till next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming